Hey everybody, I'm Matt from Space for Everybody. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a solstice camera. So this is a great way to learn a little bit more about our star, the Sun. All kinds of things going on there, but this is a great way to visually experience it. Now it does take six months, solstice to solstice, but it's a wonderful experiment that you can do at home and I'm going to show you how. The first thing you need is photographic paper. I'm going to link this in the description of the video, but I'm also going to put it on my website. This is 5x7 photographic paper, just like you would use to develop in a dark room. It's better if you get the matte version, but this is the glossy version. It works as well, but not quite as good. You'll see some lines, maybe from reflection, but the matte version works much better. You'll also need a 16 ounce can. Now this is a little bit bigger than a soda can, but it works wonderfully. So you'll need one of those, a can opener, a pair of scissors, some paper. It's better if it's a little bit heavier cardstock, and I'll show you why in a second. Then you'll need a thumbtack or a safety pin. The safety pin will work a little bit better, and I'll explain why in a second. And also, with everything, you'll need some duct tape. So let's get into the build. So I've got a 16 ounce can and a can opener. And what I'm going to do is put it at the top of the, map, the, the can and actually remove the lid. So this might take a while. So, you should be very careful when you remove this. And children, make, it, make sure you get mom and dad to help you with this. At this point, I turn the can upside down just to make it a little bit easier and use that heavy cardstock paper I referred to earlier to make a cap for it. So, the easiest way to do this, and something I should have started with, take a couple pieces of duct tape and make yourself a couple of holder pieces as we're making our cap, it will make it much easier. So three or four, you might not need them all, but depending on how complicated you make your top, you might need them. So we're going to turn it upside down again, and we're just going to roll it on here just like this. And I'm going to use it all, the whole piece of paper, even though we don't really need it, just to reinforce a bit. Use a little piece of tape, tape a little piece of tape, and tape it together. So now we have our shape that we're going to want to use and adhere to. So remove our can from the shape. Put it over there. And then I'm going to cut it in half. Now we still may cut some, but we'll see how this works. Then I'm going to simply cut about a half inch strip, as you can see, cutting here. All the way down. We're going to put it back on like this. So one of the things I left out is a pen or a pencil. And what you'll do with that is just simply draw yourself a circle. And I would fold it over so you get a little, because you want the top, the cap as it were, to be a little bit more reinforced. Turn your can upside down, put your lid on top, these on there just like this, but oh, we can move it up just a tad. So we're going to take these two lids, slide them inside, and then fold these pieces over on top, just like so. Once you get them all on top, use some of your duct tape and tape them down. So this is a good start on our can, and as you can see, it comes right off. So this looks pretty good. I've got a nice cap that I can move. It's not taped on. It's airtight. I'm having a tough time pushing it on there. So we've got our cap now. I'm going to set it aside, and we're going to put our shutter in our camera. Now you do that with a safety pin or a thumbtack. The thumbtack can take a little more force and might dent the can. It's a little bit better if you use a safety pin, and I'll show you how. I'm going to put the shutter about a quarter of the way down, maybe a third of the way, and that's it. So at this point, I'm going to put a tiny little piece of tape over my shutter before I put my photographic paper in. 
So what I'm going to do is use my scissors and cut out just a little bit of a space that it doesn't cover the pinhole. Just like that. There you go. So now my camera is ready for film. This is my image from last year's Solstice camera. And as you can see, every line here represents the path of the sun each day from June to December. You'll take the film and you'll carefully put it in. Now you'll notice I have a thumbprint in mine because I touched it. So don't do what I did. Carefully fold it over, put it in the camera, and on the very edges, it's okay to touch the edges, you'll want to hold it up to the light and move the film till you see the light through the camera. So I can see the little pinhole through the top of the can. And I've made sure that the paper is sitting like this so that the light can come through and etch onto the paper. So at this point, I have my shutter covered, my film loaded in my can, and also I have my duct tape cap on. Now I'm going to use some tape to seal my camera tight so that it will not be opened until the next solstice. So I'm going to take some time and seal it and I'll speed up the video. So that's it. It's not pretty, but it'll work. And when I'm ready to hang it outside, I'll just peel off the tape for the shutter. Now you'll want to make sure that it's affixed to something sturdy. And you can use zip ties if you want to tape some to the back. You just don't want your camera to be blowing in the wind because it will make the image blurry. So once you place it, you want to ensure that it's pointing due south. Pointing it due south will get you the best arc in your image. And that's it. And we'll open it up again when the solstice comes back around in the winter. I hope you enjoy the build, and I hope you enjoy watching your camera as it sits through the season. And I can't wait to see all the cool pictures that you take with your cameras. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to like our Facebook page and leave a comment on Facebook or in YouTube if you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much and have a great day.